glaucoma has become the second leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide and is estimated to affect 112 million people by 2040. Currently, intraocular pressure is the only known modifiable risk factor, and thus lowering IOP is the mainstay of treatment for glaucoma. The three main treatment modalities available to lower IOP are topical medications, laser procedures, and incisional surgeries. The efficacy of topical medications is limited by patient adherence to frequent and long-term dosing regimen. The returns on laser trabeculoplasty decrease over time. Incisional surgeries come with their own set of complications. As an alternative to traditional glaucoma treatments, minimally invasive glaucoma surgery, MIGS, procedures have shown promise for the future management of glaucoma. When compared to standard glaucoma surgeries, MIGS procedures typically require shorter operation times and allow for more rapid recovery. One of the biggest advantages of MIGS procedures is that they spare the conjunctiva and sclera, preserving the precious real estate should standard filtering surgeries be required down the road. Although MIGS procedures are quickly becoming an integral part of glaucoma management in the developed world, the fire has yet to be ignited in the developing world. The special devices required for MIGS procedures tend to be expensive with limited, if any, availability in developing countries. Many surgeons may not be as familiar with performing intraoperative gonioscopy, and opportunities for training may be scarce. However, with the rising popularity and success of MIGS procedures and continued advancement in their development, MIGS is going to become a mainstay in the future of glaucoma management. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Welcome, prepare for, and practice low-cost forms of MIGS procedures for our patients in the developing world. Step 1. Become adept at intraoperative gonioscopy. MIGS procedures rely on great intraoperative visualization of the angle structures such as with the commonly used Swan-Jacob gonioprism. For a surgeon sitting temporally to visualize the nasal angle structures with this lens, the patient's head must first be tilted 30 to 40 degrees away from the surgeon, and the microscope should be tilted 30 to 40 degrees toward the surgeon. Using viscoelastic as the coupling medium, the surgeon can place the Swan-Jacob lens onto the corneal surface and gently adjust the positioning to visualize the nasal angle structures. This technique can be mastered through routine practice with patients undergoing cataract surgeries. Step 2. Adopting low-cost MIGS procedures. Suture GAT. The gonioscopy-assisted transluminal trabeculotomy, or GAT, developed by Dr. Devinder Grover and his team at Glaucoma Associates of Texas, has become a popular minimally invasive surgical treatment in the management of open-angle glaucoma. GAT is originally performed using an eye track microcatheter, which has an illuminated probe that allows visualization of the catheter tip as it is advanced through Schlem's canal. A lower cost alternative approach called the suture GAT uses a less expensive 5.0 proline suture. Our team, trained by Dr. Devinder Grover, successfully performed suture GAT on 32 eyes. At the end of 12 months follow-up, IOP control in all the eyes was less than 20 millimeters of mercury, and none of the patients needed any topical anti-glaucoma medications. The overall cost of performing suture GAT combined with phacoemulsification with foldable IOL implantation was around $75 US dollars, which is one-tenth the cost of an iTrack microcatheter. Bent ab interno needle goniectomy, bang procedure. The Kahook dual blade, KDB, is a novel goniotomy blade that was developed to remove trabecular meshwork through a minimally invasive approach. 
Clinical studies have demonstrated the efficacy of KDB goniotomy, both with and without phacal emulsification, for lowering IOP and reducing dependency on medications. A low-cost version of the Kahook blade can be made by bending the distal 1 mm of a sterile 25 gauge 5 8 inch hypodermic needle toward the bevel using a needle holder. This needle can be used similarly to KDB to excise trabecular meshwork. A KDB blade can cost around 350 US dollars, whereas the bent 25 gauge needle costs only a few cents. Trabectome surgery. The trabectome is another surgical device available for ab internal trabeculotomy, which has shown its benefits in the management of adult, juvenile, and infantile glaucoma. Trabectome surgery can be more expensive. Operating on a single patient can cost around $4,000 US dollars, whereas combining three to four patients on the same day can significantly cut down the cost to around $1,000 US dollars per patient. Step three, low cost MIGS devices. Cost is perhaps the biggest hindrance for adopting MIGS procedures into routine glaucoma practice. When the Ahmed and Bearvelt implants became available for the management of refractory glaucomas, Few surgeons in developing countries were able to offer this advancement to their patients. The development of the low-cost Arolab Aqueous Drainage Implant, ADI, revolutionized the management of refractory glaucoma in developing countries, where surgeons were now able to perform tube drainage surgeries. With growing demand for less invasive surgeries and the continued advancement of MIGS techniques and devices, low-cost MIGS procedures will definitely find their way into the developing world. Let us be prepared to embrace MIGS in our quest to provide the best care possible for our glaucoma patients and to change what was once thought to be mission impossible to mission accomplished.